I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll understand how to analyze continuous data. We're going to use frequency table to find mean. The question here is speeds of the cars passing 60 km per hour zone is given below. Explain how it represents continuous data and then what is the mean speed? Is it a safe zone to drive? So these are questions which we will answer. Information given to us is that speed in kilometers per hour is given in different intervals where x is greater than or equal to 39.5 and less than 49.5 and this 49.5 kind of repeats. The upper limit becomes the lower limit and then the lower limit is included, the upper limit is not included in these intervals. And for each interval, we are given some frequency. Now, the first part of this question is, explain how it represents continuous data. So, whenever you have a data where the upper limit is repeated as a lower limit in the next interval, and there is an inequality sign, Right, so inequality as given here, where one side is included, not the other one. So clearly, if you have a value 49.5, it will be considered in the next interval, not in the previous one. Right, so we avoid any ambiguity. So that clearly shows that the values are continuous and the data which we are working with could have any value in between. Right. Now for our work, we in continuous data, we have to approximate all the values. So it is important to round the numbers, right? So in this case, we have rounded the numbers to one decimal place. So once you round the numbers to one decimal place or something like this, you can treat this as a discrete data, right? So since you have rounded it to a limit. so could be treated as a discrete data and then we are going to analyze so that's the fundamental okay so we have answered this question and I hope that is clear so in continuous data you'll normally have the interval where one part is included the other one is not and the upper bound and the lower bound may match as shown here so that is a key now let us see how to find the mean of speed in this particular situation. So as we did for discrete data, to find the mean, we'll find the middle values, right? So we'll introduce a column to find the middle values, and then we'll find the mean, right? So mid value is what? So we'll say mid value. of speed, right? So we are trying to find mid value of speed. Let us find the mid value. Let's use calculator. So mid value of these two will be add them up, divide by two. So we have 39.5 plus 49.5 equals two divide by two gives us mid value of 44.5. So in this case, the mid value is 44.5, right? It is interesting to note that the intervals are different, right? We'll get back to that also. Uh, 39 to 49.5, the interval is of 10. In the next one, 49.5 to 54.5, the interval is of 5. So, so the difference in the center is 2.5, correct? So let's do 49.5 plus 54.5 equals 2 divided by 2 that gives 52 as the middle value. Do you see that? So what you notice here is that the first interval is of 10. The next one is of 5, right? So midway is a whole number. Here also it is interval of 5, so we'll add 2.5 to it, right? So this will be 57. This again is is of 5, 
so it is going to be 5 more or 62 and here again it is of 5 so 5 more 67 however this interval is different right so let's find the middle value by adding them up 69.5 plus 84.5 equals 2 divided by 2 so that gives us 77 right so 77 so one important thing which you also see or observe here is different class intervals. Now at times in group data you could have that kind of a situation, right? You'll also notice that the numbers or the frequency associated with those with higher intervals is much lower as compared to others and therefore it makes sense to create sometimes classes with different intervals, right? So that's the reason. Anyway, let's get back to finding mean for the speed. So we found the mid values for this. So we are assuming that this frequency is uniformly distributed. So uniform distribution is assumption. So whenever you're working with group data, uniform distribution will be our assumption right so now once we have the mid value let's find product of mid value with the frequency right so we'll have frequency times mid value so we'll multiply 6 by 44.5 to get the number here so 6 times 44.5 gives us 267 then we have 18 times 52, which is 936. Then we have 71 times 57. That gives us 40, 47. Then we have 92 times 62. That gives us 57, 0, 4. And then we have 64 times 67. And that is 4288. And then we have 4 times 77. That is 308. Now we can add all these numbers, right? So let's add all these numbers. So it is uh, 267 plus 936 plus 4047 plus 5704 plus 4288 plus 308 right let's add them up so we get a number which is 1555 in this case 0 so that is the sum of product of frequency and the mid values right so that is the sum and let's also find the sum of frequencies here so sum of frequencies for us is what Let's add this up. So add this up. It is 6 plus 18 plus 71 plus 92 plus 64 plus 4 equals to 255. So we have 255. That is to say that speed of 255 cars is checked within a speed zone of 60 kilometers per hour now we'll find the mean speed right so the what is mean speed mean will be equal to sum of this frequency times mid value right so frequency time let's say mid value okay divided by the sum of frequency so which is equals to one triple five zero divided by 255 Let's use the calculator to calculate this answer, which is 1550 divided by 255. So that is equals to, in decimals, 60.98, or you can say 61 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that is the average or the mean speed which we have found, right? So, so we have answered this question. Now the thing is, is it a safe zone to drive? Now this zone, as you can see, 
has average, I mean, I should say speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour. So if you compare with the mean, it seems to be a perfect zone, right? It seems to be fairly good because the mean is 61 kilometers per hour. So that is, seems to be perfectly fine. But here, if you analyze the data, what you really notice is there are four cars who are going at a much higher speed. It is a speed zone of 60 kilometers per hour, but their speed is around 70 to 85. Do you see that? 70 to 80. Much, much higher, much higher than 20% of the average speed, if you distribute this uniformly, correct? So that is of concern, right? So this, just these four cars, who are going at a much higher speed are of concern. Otherwise, uh, the traffic is fairly good. So that is how we can actually analyze the data and uh, work with continuous data. So let me remind you, whenever you have continuous data, we'll have intervals where the upper boundary will become the lower boundary and one of them will not be included. Normally, the upper one is not included, right? So that is the normal case. You also notice that sometimes we'll have different class intervals, right? As in this case, uh, the interval of the center portion is five and it has two different intervals for the first and the last portion. So those are important things to take care of. And remember, whenever you want to find mean, for a group data, whether it is discrete or continuous, we are always taking use of the middle value multiplying the middle value with the frequency and then finding the mean. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.